Okay. Appreciate you coming back to the channel and uh, checking out the video. Uh, this is uh, uh, day, let's see, what's today? The 24th, there's one, 26. So there's two, they're two days old now, the Rhode Island Reds. And I want to go over uh, a few things when they're in the brooder and my feeding, how I, what, what I, you know, the feed and what I put in the water to keep them healthy and um, so they keep thriving and, and get to where I want them. But real quick, let's take a look at the uh, chickens and then we'll get into that. As you can see, they're all hid off in the corner because they're terrified of what I'm doing. Uh, you can see they've been eating. I just, I just redid their water right here, but they've been eating pretty good and stuff like that. And they're, you know, uh, they hadn't made too much of a mess. A little bit here and there, the brooders working fine. They're all made it, they're all alive, all 38 chickens. So let's talk about what they're, um, what, what I do when I feed them. Okay, so you can see they're healthy, they're good. They're just piled up in the corner because they're terrified of what I got going on. Because uh, they're two days old, they don't know any better. But I think, I think people need to understand is when you feed these baby chickens, you need to have one of these feeders with the with the top on it with little holes for them to go in because they are they'll get inside the food and uh start taking dumps in their food and that's not really good for them uh these are the i like to use these it's cheap just go buy them at the store they're cheap or buy them online whatever um it holds plenty of plenty of uh food that you need for the first couple of weeks for them to eat and all that kind of stuff so there's no big problem this is important. Uh, what I use as far as a waterer when they're young is just, you know, a little water that, you know, with mason jar on it. So what's, what's, what I use also is I have to keep a bucket in here with their feed in it. And they're, they, they eat a, they're starting out with a starter feed. Um, you know that's a starter starter uh feed that's about you know what just go get you some starter feed i don't i don't usually use a uh, medicated uh, uh starter feed but do your do do what you do i mean if you want to use that most important thing that i do when i when i'm um you know there's the water to me uh all of my animals uh my rabbits my pig uh, my chickens, uh, my Samani chickens that run around in the yard, or, or I got some in a chicken tractor, um, baby chickens, it don't matter. Every one of my basically farm animals get this right here. They get a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar per gallon of water. Um, you know, I keep, I keep a little connected to it. And when I want to get a new one, I would just tie, untie it and put it on. That way I don't ever lose, keep losing this. So my thing is, I'm a firm believer in uh, apple cider vinegar for, for them. When I started using apple cider vinegar, uh, I, I had a, I had a, I had a, I even when I, when I first started doing chickens, I used to get, um, the, the little packs that you mix in with the water uh, for new uh, nutrients and all whatever it's it's like electrolytes and stuff like that for them and I thought wow that's, that, that'll work good but what I could come to find out I had a few chickens here and there that had pasty butt and and, and, and I was some of them just wouldn't come clean and, and those chickens died um, but what I found out is when I have egg layers my, my chickens that lay eggs they lay, they lay cleaner eggs. I, I don't know, it's just the way it is. It's, I did the process. Uh, and ever since I started feed, giving them uh, apple cider vinegar, I don't have pasty butt anymore. And if I do have a little bit of poop on their butts, it's just very minimal. Uh, so I highly recommend when you're feeding your baby chickens to make sure the number one thing that you do do is put apple cider vinegar in there so they're healthy they uh i 
I mean, I, I even use it on all of my adult birds. I use it on uh, my rabbits. Everybody, everybody drinks apple cider vinegar, a tablespoon in their in their water. Um, they're all healthy. They're all what's amazing is, like my Samanis, they're solid black birds that uh, it makes their feathers even more shiny looking. I mean, it's a huge, huge difference when you just add one item to to your stuff. So. Well, so let me go ahead and finish getting everything ready and making sure they got the feed like they're supposed to. This is a daily routine. I'm, I make sure that I clean their uh, waters out, give them fresh water, uh, clean out. I mean, I, I check their food and make sure it's at a good level for them to have. So you can see, I, I have one empty. So I'll be filling this one up. And that's about it. Uh, we'll do an update video in a day or two, or maybe tomorrow, depending on what I got going on. And at some point, I'm gonna uh, let you see what my tractors look like uh, that I've made, uh, that I've used for like three years now and worked out real good for me. Um, and then we'll look at my, my where my chickens are gonna, these chickens here that I saved for egg laying, where they're gonna go uh, that I built across on my little farm. So I appreciate you watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you feel like it. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. If you want to leave a comment, leave a comment. Hey Amen. Until next time, see you.